Fun fact about nature actually, uh, moss only grows on the north side of trees. That's false. So, so if you look at, if you look at this, you know that the moss is pointing north. This way is north. And uh, this is clear throughout all trees, pointing north. This is north. See, the sun's setting over there, which means that that is north. A common question I get is, uh, what about trees where moss grows on all sides, like this one? And um, my only explanation for this tree is uh, we are at the North Pole. There is no farther point north, so every direction is south, in which case um, moss points south. Um, let me do some plant identification right now. Uh, this plant right here, it's called an erector set. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, see, it breaks into many pieces and they all fit back into each other. It's pretty cool. It's hard because I'm doing this with one hand. But yeah, yeah, really cool. Erector set. Definitely a, a read that you guys should check out. One of my favorites. Now, uh, a lot of people look at this and they think, oh, it's just a, it's just a dead stump. But it's actually a, a tree in the making. People, thinks that, people think that uh, saplings are just young trees. But no, the tree grows from here. All right, you guys follow me? The, the tree grows from here and it grows up to be like the other trees. Saplings are just mini trees. They don't get any bigger than they are. See, so yeah, now the tree probably won't grow. Here's another example of this. The, uh, the tree is growing here. It will eventually grow to be a tree of that size, but it, it has not uh, reached its full, its full length at this point. Very interesting. Uh, lots of people don't know what they're actually eating in foods, so I'm, I'm here to show you. For example, salad. People, people don't know what type of food salad is, like what plant does it come from. I'm here to tell you that it comes from this one right here, the salad plant. See? Healthiest meal I could eat. I love it. Ah. A common misconception of the zebra is that they only move uh, trees and logs. However, that is clearly disproved here. How, how else would the rocks get here? These rocks were clearly moved by beavers. No doubt in my mind that the beavers moved the rocks here as a way to keep the humans out. There is most definitely a beaver lodge that way, and this is their first line of defense. Here we have the, the beaver's second line of defense. Many sticks in the path. They clearly don't want anybody else through. Why? They are very protective of their young. Beavers are very afraid. Ah, here's another tree. It should grow to be tall one day like the rest of these. So if you, look, if you look in the sand right here, you can clearly see a face with eyes and nose and a mouth. It's an angry face, um, clearly set here by the beavers as a warning to rival gang beavers. As, like, <laughs> uh, as a warning to rival gang beavers, um, sending a message like, fuck off, this is where we live. Of course. Of course. The beavers have clearly set up a tripwire for us. What the hell do they think we are? I think they're onto us. They know we're here. Kind of freaking out a little bit. If you look closely, you can see the beaver, the beaver is swimming out there. They've been throwing stuff at us all day. There's another shot. We need to get out of here. Um, if you look, if you look here, you can see the rocks perfectly aligned in in this weird fashion. Now that was a Mayan, a Mayan signal. They could tell the time. You could tell right now that it's about. 8 o'clock if you look at the shadows and the rocks, see? Uh, I don't want to disturb it because it's very ancient and old. So if you, uh, if you look over there, you can see that the sun's kind of setting. It's getting a little darker, about 8 or 9 o'clock. And you can see that the, all of the clouds are going away. And all we have is blue skies. And uh, the reason for that is that clouds are afraid of the dark. Clouds don't want to stick around until, uh, until nighttime, so they just dip out of here until morning when it'll it'll rain on us 
because that's how it always goes. It always rains on us. Yep.